So this is a Henry. With a dud high-low board. And a broken cable. Se seven screws. Not all out yet, where are they? Doesn't really matter if they don't come out. There's another. So there's the carousel for the cable out of the way. I want to get in here at this high-low board. So lift this up, pull this down. There it is. And I've written all my colors on it. Blue, white, uh, brown, black. And what I want to do today, what I want to do today is have a go at uh, replacing this guy here. It's a T1235H6G. There you go, you can see it there. So I ordered a couple of these. And some flux and whatnot. I ordered a couple because if it works I might do it again on a different machine in the future. Can't see that there, can we? Come on in. T1235H6G. Uh, surface mount. And that's the biggest challenge for me really, is getting that off the board. So I've got my soldering iron heating up. I would like to hold this in something, so I've mounted it in this vise. I think what I'll do is I'll work on the legs first. If I can, pop them up one by one. The soldering iron is quite hot now. I've tinned it clean because it was a bit of a mess before. That won't do. This vise isn't tied to the table, it's just sitting here. So... Oh, I got it. To hook it up though. One leg. Two legs up. And the next bit's the most challenging from my point of view. So I'll put this in here to lever it up. It is getting hot. There it is, okay, just leapt straight off. So if that was, that means that this uh, soldering iron is plenty hot then, that's good. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll be able to suck anything off. Oh, here, but let's uh, see. that's going to suck anything off there. So a bit of alcohol to clean it. So alcohol, don't know if this is the right kind. This is the one that I've got. Because this board was in a vacuum cleaner it's particularly dirty. Put a bit on the white. Because it was already soldered, maybe it's not such a big deal. And then the new transistor. So it does have the same shape as back. So then a little dab of flux. I'll put a bit of tape on that. This is eBay's finest solder paste. And if you're trying to figure out why this guy doesn't appear to know what he's doing, it's because he's never done it before and he doesn't know what he's doing. It's rosin, I think, or something like that. Quite sticky stuff, that. Of heated soldering iron, it's a bit, it's a bit too hot, really. 
I wonder if I clamp that somehow. It's gotten hot, but now I'm just fucking it up. I could try to put the legs on it first. I don't want to overheat the bloody uh, transistor, but I have a feeling that's where we're getting to. Let's try and clamp that somehow. It'd be all clean, and then you're just putting an old dusty clamp on it like this. Just latching it off over to the side because of these legs. Let's see then. Okay. Now let's see what I can do on this one. It's just balling up on the Definitely done something there, but whether or not it's gone, I can see the the flux boiling out from underneath. It's not. It's, I can hold, I can touch it, so I don't think it's too hot, really, compared to what these things can be. If there is damage done, it's done already. But if I'm going to try heating it again, oh, can't get in there like that. So can I clamp it onto that piece of copper? That will help me a little bit feel better. Feel better about it. It's clamped onto a piece of copper. Copper bar, which acts as a heat sink. So I can see the rosin, the solder bubbling out of the sides there, so I'll quit at that. And I think one of those legs could stand to have a drop more on it. The copper heatsink works really well. That's, uh, that's more positive now. I may, I may well have killed it already. But okay, so I'll put a bit of alcohol on a rag again. This is uh, rosin that you don't have to clean, or flux you don't have to clean, but it's all sitting in front of me. Big blobs of solder running up the legs there. But equally, they're touching the ground, which is what I want. And this is an interesting one because the the tracks are all the traces are all inside it, so you can just about see. Yeah, that's a bit better there. So you can see the power is coming into this from well in or out of this one, going to this one, and I think that's the trigger. And that's not the right words for whatever type of transistor this is. It could be a gate, or it could be an emitter, or it could be, I don't know, these, these things. But 
and that's coming neutral uh, to so it looks like it's the neutral doing the switching if, if I get it right but I don't know okay it's cooled down let's try it in the machine so there's the unit again uh, brown white blue and black and of course it's not as simple as this I don't have a carousel to go on it so I'll have to get a carousel from another one Okay, then I've stuck another carousel up on top of it, and I'll just hold it together. This won't jump up at me, it's not live uh, until... Hmm, strange. I wonder if there's a fault in that cable. So even if the board's not working, it should still work. Okay, so let's plug it in. Got a different carousel on it, let's see. Nothing doing there. Cable. I've tested the cable and it's okay. It works on another one, simple as that. Let's put this on to uh, AC. Let's just check if we're getting something in there. Yeah, it's coming in to the switch. It's coming out of the switch. Hmm. Um, it's coming to the board. Looks like it's coming out of the board correctly. Looks like we've got a motor connection issue now. Um, I'm gonna have a look here. Best to do this while, well, let's lift this out of the way that it stops being live. Let's see if we can get in here. connections to the motor so this isn't live let's put the carousel back on top making it live this is of course not how you test things now this motor had been working well, actually I don't know I can't remember so let's not the motor no we're not getting anything there so which is which are the cables that go to the motor this one and this one. So I'm determined to figure out what's going on here. This is the one that's brand new, hasn't been fitted. It's got uh, low resistance there across this side to this side. And from here to the back, nothing. And from here to the back, nothing. This is the broken one. Across here, it's got low resistance. Um, from the right hand side to the back it's got um, a path and from the left hand side to the back it's also got a path so it's just open every direction the new one isn't then the new one that uh, I've soldered on it's like that and so it's behaving the same way. I've taken it off the board, but it's behaving the same way as a working one. So it doesn't make any sense why it didn't work on the machine. Let's solder it back on again, hey? Goes out of the way. Bring this in here. I'm wondering. I don't know. I think it was getting okay. Grip. So there is a big blob of solder underneath it now. What I might do is give another little clean with alcohol on the back because you see it's got a bit of stuff stuck to it there. I'm just kind of hoping that will melt itself shut if that makes any sense. Bit of that, bit of that flux. So 
This isn't, this isn't how you behave if you're a real electronics guy. We all know that. It's got it clamped onto the copper as a heat sink, although if it seems to behave the way a brand new one behaves, then it's probably not. Uh, probably didn't overheat it before. So then... Looks like it's uh, melting quite well there. Okay, and I'll just hold it down this time. It's bubbling at the side. I'm gonna turn it around and do the legs. So, I can't do much more than that with it, that's cooled. By placing it on the copper, it uh, sucks the heat straight out of it. So that's it's warm, but it's not hot. Some pretty nasty blobs of solder here and here, but whatever. And, uh, I wonder what the grip is like underneath there, but who knows, another little bit of alcohol here on a cloth to see if I can get any more of that flux off even though it's uh it's supposed to be flux that you don't need to clean whether or not that's true or not I always wonder but non-corrosive medium active flux that facilitates soldering doesn't say don't clean does it thermopasty right let's uh, put it back together again Brown, white, black, blue. Turn that off. Put a carousel up on top. That's working because I've checked it. Plug it in. Switch it on. Still nothing. Okay, I don't know at all. Any ideas about this board? Turn it off first. If you've got any ideas about this or if something plainly obvious happened there that I didn't cop, tell me about it in the comments, otherwise I'm gonna hotwire this machine. Like it could be that any other component on there is dead as well. But it should come on with a soft start, I think. Maybe not with this color board, actually, a green board. I don't know if that's a soft start. But when there's a shot of, uh, uh, live going over to the black here that should turn it up you can buy these boards on amazon if you don't want to dick around like this you can also buy the chips on amazon but i don't see the point in that you can buy the boards on amazon i'll put a link below any ideas let me know i've tried and i've failed thanks for watching see you later